I asked you, real people, producers, and musicians, what Windows computer do you use for music production? And the results are in. These are not just recommendations from me gathering specs online. You have tested these machines and are getting great real results. Today, I'm sharing the top five Windows laptops for music production according to you. I've even gone a step further to check out these laptops myself in person to give you my opinion of some features you can't tell from checking them out on a website. Make sure you watch until the end because there is one alternative that viewers highly recommend you consider before you choose one of these, and it's not what you think. First of all, let's cover the specs that you recommend. Based on your responses, the most recommended specs for any laptop are an i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, at least 512 gigabytes of solid state drive, and a 15 inch screen. So all the laptops I'm recommending here have those specs. And all of these laptops will run all the popular DAWs, including Ableton, FL Studio, Reaper, Reason, Cubase, Studio One, Cakewalk, and others. I'll include links to get any of these laptops in the description of the video. So here's a little more information about my audience, the people who recommended these. First. 60% are Windows users, 35% are Mac users, and the others make music on mobile devices. Pretty cool. 28% of you make hip hop, 13% make EDM, 10% make rock, and 5% pop. And a whopping 44% of you say that your music transcends all genres. Most of you are running Ableton Live and FL Studio. Now one caveat, if you're looking for a computer to run Logic Pro, remember that's a Mac only program. So you need to put in that extra cash for a MacBook unless you go the Hackintosh route. Let's get started. Coming in at number five, is the Razer Blade. The Razer Blade, in my opinion, is the best looking of the five laptops in this roundup. It's sleek with a multicolored backlit keyboard. It has the latest i7 six core processor. And since the Razer markets these as gaming laptops, you get great graphics as well. When I checked, Razer Blades are a little bit more expensive than the others in this roundup. I couldn't find a Razer Blade laptop on display at my local store, but the guy at the store told me that it feels a lot like a MacBook Pro with the aluminum body and a really smooth trackpad. At number four are laptops by HP the Omen and Spectre. The Spectre has a touch screen at a very competitive price. So if you want that option, this is a great laptop to choose. The Omen is a gaming laptop with great specs, but one viewer did warn that it's pretty big and bulky. I checked out the Omen in person. It has a cool brushed metal look. The keyboard feels solid and the screen looks good. Hey, if you're looking for some great accessories for your studio, like USB hubs, an excellent mouse, and even a voice control gadget for your studio setup, check out my 10 studio gadgets video here. At number three, we have the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme. Several viewers recommended Lenovo and included the Yoga and Idea Pad models as well, but the ThinkPad X1 Extreme got the most votes for Lenovo. Actually, I use the Lenovo X1 Carbon at work it has a similar form factor and excellent portability. In person, the Lenovo looks more business-like, maybe because I use one at work. But this laptop is much more subtle than the gaming laptops in this roundup. The keys are easy to type on, but I don't care for the trackpad, which seems to need to catch up to the processor at times. Otherwise, it's just your everyday laptop with good power. All right, second place is Asus with 20% of the votes. People seem to love the Asus Rogue laptops. The Rogue is also marketed as a gaming laptop with a nice sleek form factor and beautiful colored keyboard, just like the Razer Blade. One person did say that after a year of heavy use, the battery life is taking a little toll, but otherwise you guys really love the Asus Rogue. In person, the Rogue seemed really big. If you like lots of multicolored lights, this thing's got it. Light strips on the sides, logo on the top, colored keyboard. The keyboard feels better than the HP, more natural. Before we get to number one, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos on music production tips, tutorials, and gear reviews. And if you're looking for a Mac, I've actually compared the last two versions, the 2017 and 18, of the MacBook Pro in a video here. All right, 
the most recommended laptop at number one is the Dell XPS 15. Wait a second, Dell? I received multiple comments about latency issues with the Dell XPS 15. Although this laptop was the most recommended, a large number of users are reporting a latency problem and audio popping. A quick poll of my audience shows that 60% of you are experiencing the latency problem and 40% say their XPSs are just fine. For now, my advice would be to keep an eye on the latency issue with Dell if you're really interested in getting an XPS 15. Otherwise, the other laptops in this list are really good options. That said, this is a list of the most recommended. So let's check out some of the comments from the viewers who do like it. Users say that the build quality is excellent. The screen is accurate. And overall, this thing is just rock solid. Several of you mentioned that you found some really good deals on these laptops as well. In person, the Dell was my least favorite in the looks category. It kind of felt outdated compared to the others. The keyboard does feel good but the clickiness made it sound a little cheap. The screen was wow. Best among all these laptops. Now the laptop body seems like a fingerprint magnet as you can tell from these clips. You know, don't overlook last year's models for any one of these laptops. You might find them at a really good price. I need to mention one other alternative to a Windows laptop. A good number of you recommended building your own desktop PC. And I think this is a really great option, especially if portability isn't a necessity for you. Building your own PC gives you the option to easily upgrade your specs later. Desktop models also have better performance to similarly spec laptops, and they typically won't have the loud fans that can ruin a good microphone recording. All these laptops are priced similarly, but check the links in the description of the video for the latest prices. Listen, don't wait until you have the money to buy the latest and greatest laptop out there. An i5 processor with eight gigabytes of RAM will take you a long way with music production. So what do I use? I use a 2018 MacBook Pro with an i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a two terabyte solid state drive. I've been fairly happy with it, but there are some things that I've been really disappointed with, but that's for another video. Do the best with what you have and make the music you love. Thanks for watching, and hey, check out one of these videos next.